Security before instrumentation was a vague concept. It was a checklist of different items that you had to take care of for compliance for regulatory bodies. It did not truly represent what security people believed security was and what was needed to make the environment secure. We attempted to identify gaps and issues through pen tests, but there was no actual way to produce data showing progress, showing improvements. Um, we would produce reports for leadership that would say things like, oh, our firewall block blocked a million and a half uh, events that day. But when you really got down to it, what does that mean? What, is that, what did that do for you? If it blocked it, okay, what about the stuff that got through? What did get through? Instrumentation has made a constant improvement to our processes and helped our people get better at what they do. When we first brought the product in, one of the first things we did was run a test against our managed service uh, provider and against our own security analyst, uh, not only to determine what the SIM would see, but what the, what the people would actually be able to see and what they would make of it. That in itself created uh, a new process tuning of multiple SIM rules and the creation of multiple different SIM rules. As far as the people are concerned, I've tested my own analysts, I've tested my own admins, uh, I, I've tested end users. The tool is actually running malicious tests against your network, which means the people are learning what those tests are and what those actors are doing. They're learning from all the experience that your product is bringing to the table that they can just easily see, touch, put their hands on, all in an effort to improve how we do things around here and our ability to actually spot a bad actor in the environment. It's incredible to, to come up against it. There's nothing like it out there. Indicating our effectiveness to leadership is the primary task that I have on my plate. It's probably about 50% of my workload. They don't actually understand what it is we do. They don't understand what those tools are for. What they know is that some regulatory body, some compliance requirement says we have to do X, Y, and Z, but they don't understand what that truly means. Instrumentation is the key to measuring our security effectiveness right now. It is uh, in every single aspect of what we're doing at the moment. Um, Previously, we had no ability to be able to provide a data point that would actually show that the job we're doing is being done well and being done effective and that the controls we put in place are there. Now we can show that on a regular basis and not only what we're doing, why we're doing it, but what their dollar spend is actually doing for them. They can see the improvement. So I think a really good use case uh, of what we're looking at is, is how we are going about our endpoint protection evaluation. This is going to be a, a major change in our environment, what we're attempting to do. And security instrumentation has been the key to our testing. One of the things that we're able to do that we weren't able to do before is actually perform a repeatable and measurable test against all the products to be able to show the effectiveness and, the, and be able to repeat that test throughout every single product we want to evaluate is, it's actually quite, a, quite amazing. We can look at reports from third parties, the, the Gartners, the NSS labs type of, uh, of data sets, and we can get a pretty good picture of what that tool is gonna do, but not what it's gonna be in our environment and how it's actually gonna work for our end users. Uh, and what kind of protection we're actually gonna get from that, that agent. But through the use of this security instrumentation, we've been able to develop a single test that effectively gives us a, an effectiveness rating of those endpoint protection tools. And then we can perform that test exactly the same against every single one of these vendors. So no matter what they claim their effectiveness is, we're saying, no, the things that we're worried about, the ransomwares, the data exfiltration, we set up that test, we perform that test, we measure you against that test, and then we measure all of your competitors against that test. And we know actual data and metrics that we can show to leadership about what we're doing, why we're doing it, and where their dollar spend is actually going. So it's interesting, the term environmental drift is actually something that we kind of use around here as well. You look at what your environment is today, you develop what you believe are the most effective tools for what you're doing at this moment. But the truth is, 
there are change controls every day. Your environment is changing every day. New things are being added into your environment every day. Holes are being opened up in your firewall because application X needs to be able to talk to application Y. It's happening all the time. So how can you guarantee tomorrow that the controls you put in today are actually going to continue working, continue doing what you want them to do? Um, in the years past, we depended on a penetration test, a very expensive once yearly penetration test to tell us how we were doing. But that's just, it's too far uh, of a distance between efforts. The environment is never going to be the same as it was the previous day. Instrumentation is allowing us to constantly test our environment. We can be told by our instrumentation tool that the control we had yesterday is no longer functional because of this change or because of, uh, of uh, this new hole in, uh, in the firewall. So knowing that your environment is going to change every single day, being able to test your environment every single day, it's a game changer.